Hi guys, welcome to this video on the uses and properties of alloys. To understand what an alloy is, we need to compare it to a pure metal. Now as you can see here, pure metals are in a regular pattern, which means they're in rows or layers, and all of the particles are touching. Now if we try to put pressure on one of these layers, you can see that the layers can slide past each other. This is because all of the particles are the same size, and that's a key thing to remember. So remember that when we're talking about alloys shortly. Now this makes pure metals soft, which is why they are malleable, they can be hammered into shape, and ductile, which means they can be stretched into wires. Now if they're soft, it means you can't use them for things like bridges. That's where alloys come in. So if we start off with the definition of an alloy, it's a mixture of a metal with one or more elements, usually another metal. Now it's important that we say a mixture because the elements are not bonded together, so it's not a compound. So for example, iron from a blast furnace is usually 96% iron and 4% carbon, while stainless steel is 82% iron and 18% chromium. Now the reason we alloy is it gives metals different properties to pure metals. So for example, in stainless steel, the oxygen will react with the chromium instead of the iron and it will make a layer of chromium oxide. This layer is thin enough that you can't see it, so it stops rusting. And even if the chromium is scratched, more of the chromium will react, stopping any further rusting from occurring. Now, the main property of alloys is that they are much stronger than pure metals, and what we need to know is why. And the reason why is that when we melt a pure metal and mix it with another pure metal with different sized particles, another key point to remember, and then let it cool, our particle model looks like this. As you can see, it's no longer a lattice or a regular pattern. So if you try and push the layers past each other, you can't. That means they are much, much stronger than pure metals and no longer malleable or ductile. So going back to our original question, why are alloys stronger? They have different sized particles, meaning the layers cannot slide past each other. Right, that's everything you need to know, so let's check how much you've picked up from the video. I have a question for you that says, car bodies are usually made up of alloys of iron. Part 1, define what an alloy is, two marks. Part 2, explain why alloys are used instead of pure metals for car bodies. You may use diagrams to help your answer, that's a six marker. And then another use for alloys is when chromium is added to iron to make stainless steel. Explain the advantage of adding chromium to make stainless steel for two marks. Pause the video, have a go, and I'll give you the model answers when you're done. Right, let's see how you've done. Part one, define what an alloy is. The first mark is for saying that it's a mixture of a metal and either another element or another metal. Either's fine. You must say a mixture, however. If you said a compound, you would lose all marks for this question. And then the second mark is for saying that the particles are different sizes. On to part two. Explain why alloys are used instead of pure metals for car bodies and using diagrams to help your answer. So for this, the first thing I'd do is say why you wouldn't want to use a pure metal, and that's because they are soft or malleable. I'd then explain why, saying that they have the same size particles you can also get this mark by drawing a diagram like the one here. And then the third mark would be for saying that they are soft because the layers can slide past each other. I then move on to an alloy and again state the main property that they are stronger than pure metals. And then I'd explain why. So for the fifth mark, it's either for saying that the particles are different sizes or by drawing a diagram like the one you can see here. And finally, for this question, why are they stronger? Because the layers cannot slide past each other. On to part three, the final question then. Explain why we add chromium to make stainless steel. I'd start off by saying that chromium reacts with oxygen instead of iron, giving you your first mark. This then forms a layer of chromium oxide for your second mark. And then finally, this layer stops the metal from oxidizing. Any two of those three points would get you full marks. And that really is everything you need to know. I have got a review question for you which says that the process of alloying changes the structure of metals. Aluminium is often turned into an alloy using aircraft. Explain how alloying pure aluminium makes it suitable for use in an aircraft.
If you want to have a go, feel free to put a comment down below and I'll let you know how you've done. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.